everyone, it's Maria Russell here with you today and I am back for Cat Scrappiness. I'm going to be sharing with you a process video of this cute card showcasing the new stitched scallop rectangle dies with the condensed lowercase alpha dies and the punny snacks stamp set. I'm going to be using this new one. I really love it because it has like some nice stitching details to it and I really love the condensed lowercase alphas. I'm so glad I got those. I'm also going to be using one of my favorite stamp set which is the Punny Snacks and I'm going to start by die cutting a piece of Nina Solar White cardstock using the biggest of the rectangle dies and just to keep the die in place I will be using my purple tape which is one of my all-time favorite now to use for die cutting because it stays sticky no matter how many times you use it you can use the tape at least 30 times before it goes bad and then you have to get another piece And I just really wanted you guys to see the stitching detail to the scallop rectangle die and I really love it. So I'm going to stamp the images and then color them in with my Copic markers. <music> Thank you. 
So after I stamped the images, I thought there's still kind of like a big white space all around the food images. So I decided to use the smiley faces that are included in the stamp set. And just to give the images a little bit more dimension, I decided to use my Copic marker BG000 so that I can add some shadows around the food images. to stamp the sentiment were made for each other in the middle of the card and in order for me to figure out where the center is I am using this acetate sheet that I purchased from Salmon's stamp and this helps me to figure out the center of the card and I'm going to stamp that twice just to get a good impression and then I'm going to use the condensed lowercase alphas I use the MFEO which is basically made for each other this is like my one of my favorite quotes in the movie sleepless in Seattle and the kids were so cute and Tom Hanks was asking the kid what MFEO meant and of course she said made for each other so I thought this was really perfect to use for my card and it's kind of funny but I really love how this one turned out And after I was done die cutting the letters, I will be adhering my foreground to my card base. And just to give the letters a little bit of a dimension, I will be adhering those letters using my foam adhesive. I think this technique is called ghost inlaid, but I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. I, it's been around the card making community, and I really love how this one turned out. And just to fill in the gaps, I decided to use my black Faber-Castell 0.3 pen and I'm just adding some dot details to the card just to finish it up. I really hope that you guys learned something today and got inspired and I hope you liked this video. If you did, I'd be so grateful if you can kindly give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to check out catscrappiness.com for the new dice and other crafting supplies. If you're going to place an order, don't forget to use my coupon code MARIA10 for 10% off. Also, don't forget to check out the clearance section and it's about 35% off and it's already priced down. So that's a good value for money. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for joining me and happy crafting.